Hola y muy buenos días a ustedes. Yo soy la señora Tamala Wright. I'm excited to be teaching Spanish one this year at Cambridge High School. Although this is a unique school year, I'm still excited about the opportunity to share my passion for language learning with my students. On this page, I've listed a few notes about my experience as a non-native speaker of Spanish. Spanish has provided me with so many opportunities to travel and explore the world as a student and as a teacher. I want my Spanish students to know a world of possibilities awaits them when they are dual language speakers of English and Spanish. Here at Cambridge High School, we align our instructional strategies and goals with those of Fulton County World Language Goals. Our goal is to equip our students with realistic lifelong skills that will allow them to travel anywhere in the world and be able to communicate effectively in Spanish. We want to equip our students to compete effectively in the global community and marketplace. We, of course, want them to be aware of their own culture and the culture of others and to enrich their lives by increasing their appreciation for language and culture. Our goal is 90% target language instruction in the classroom to provide them with ample opportunities to grow their language and to be able to have opportunities to speak as well. I pride myself on creating the kind of classroom environment that is welcoming, refreshing, energizing, and that cultivates a desire to learn and try. In my classroom, I want my students to feel welcome. I want them to know that they have a safe place to make mistakes, as well as to experience and experiment in the language. I encourage my students to try. Participation is important in order to develop and grow in the language. I want my students to have fun. Learning a language is challenging, but it's not supposed to hurt. So I do try to do things that will allow them to experience the language in a variety of ways, engaging a variety of intelligences. I understand that all learners don't learn the same. Some learners are visual, some are auditory, some need more support in terms of opportunities to build or construct things with the language. All of these things hopefully help to create a classroom that is engaging, interesting, and fun. And of course, I want my students to feel like they should invite Spanish into their life beyond their classroom. I want them to listen to music in Spanish, watch their favorite shows in Spanish with the English subtitles, of course. And then, of course, if they can sample the culture by trying it, by traveling, by making friends with others in the culture, all of that works towards them becoming well-rounded students of Spanish. My biggest goal for our Spanish One students is that they feel comfortable in the language classroom. I want them to know that they are free to make mistakes as they learn and as they grow and develop in the language. Students in the first year of Spanish will explore the expanded world to build their communication skills, both in oral and written aspects. Students are expected to listen carefully and attempt to use Spanish as much as possible. Yes, we will be in an immersive classroom environment they will hear things often that they do not understand. However, what we try to do is encourage them in this process. I want my students to know that learning a language is not easy, but it is attainable. It does take effort. It does take practice. It does take memorization of certain uh, aspects, especially certain grammar concepts. But at the end of the day, my goal for them is to try to become brave explorers in this language and this language learning experience. Here is a list of class materials, some of which are mandatory and others that are optional. For example, you will need an activator notebook, composition, or spiral. And this is because at the beginning of class each day, we will do activities that will help to highlight specific vocabulary and grammar concepts that we are learning in the current lesión. Also it would be helpful an index card booklet to take notes as well as to keep track of any key concepts highlighters, preferably three different colors, 
Optional are color pencils, manipulatives, and a pair of dice which we use from time to time for conjugation practice and activities. Again, I'm looking forward to this year with you. I'm looking forward to teaching and watching you grow as a speaker of Spanish this year. Adios. Thank mm -hmm. you.